Welcome everyone to Martinsville Speedway, the first short track race of this season. Stephen Oaks is on pole for today's race, the Auto Club winner. Here's the full qualifying results, and let's take you to trackside. About to get the race command. Here it is. Alright, engines are up. Feel this rolling off. So, Stephen Oaks's win at Auto Club gained him 10 spots. He is now third in the point standings. Second biggest mover was Tim Randolph, up 9 positions. He's up to 5th. Raven Fisher lost the most. He dropped 10 positions down to 18th. As the pace truck pulls in, we're ready to go short track racing here at the Martinsville Speedway. Here we go. Green flag is out, and we're underway. Great launch for the one. Blazy Vitar quickly up to second place. Cheston didn't get off to a good start. And coming off turn four, leading lap number one will be the number one truck. The 18 truck, Riley Sampson now in third. Oh, little jam up there. Tim Randolph might have a problem. He gets turned. Big stack up here. Something going on with that 66 at Randolph. It might be, or not. Not just something that just happened there. He just slowed down through the middle of the turn. All right, caution is out. Let's take a look at the replay. Looks like this might have been the cause of the yellow, actually. Cole Sampson in the 17. This is all the way in the back. Cody Smart in the middle, making it three wide. I don't know what's going on there. So he goes for a spin, and yet that was the cause of the yellow flag. So that was pretty odd. So a simple spin, and look at him. There's still three wide here. But then uh, Tim Randolph, we just saw the 66. Yeah, I did not see that caution there. So we're using a different angle. So he just slides into turn one. Jank gets on the brakes. Cuts across Tony Green and spins himself out. Causing a small stack up. Not a big one at least. That's well, a good thing we're at Martinsville. Don't think the damage is going to slow him down. Yeah, but uh, they just kept piling into each other. Yeah, that was a strange wreck. Alright, first caution of the day. Let's take you back to the restart. Here we go, pace truck already pulling in. No cars, a lap down, trucks, and no retirees either. Green flag, we're back underway. This time Blaze Ebutar, great restart. And he'll get a nose underneath. That'll force Oaks to the outside. Way to the outside. Really ran wide right there. Still got the lead by just by a nose. But Blaze will have that inside line unless he can get that drive off the top. No, he will not. New leader. The 18 truck, Riley Sampson, also trying to make a pass for second place. Oaks won pretty wide there again, but he's able to hang on. Sort of. Nope. Couldn't quite clear him. Sampson will get him off turn four. Twenty-three and thirty-eight, they're on pit road again, trying to repair the damage. But yeah, they're gonna lose a lot of laps no matter what. Hopefully it's not a bug and they end up getting disqualified there's Tony Green on the 7 our points leader by 18 points over Ibra Hyman. four races in a row he's finished in the top 10 currently running in top 10 again what a start of the season for a Tony Green yeah very well a great start for them running well again today running in 8th so six tenths of a second lead Blazy Vitar has. Got all that nice clean air. Even at a short track. Does help. Gets away from the chaos too. Got another short track coming up. We'll be going to Bristol. That one may or may not be just as or more wild. Yep, and we'll learn a caution. Oh, didn't see another one. Alright, second caution of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. 
So, another three wide situation. At least this wasn't on a restart. The 44, Kenny Johnson. He was just, it looks like he just drove it in there too hard into turn four. He gets into his teammate, the 42 of Colin Cropley. Then Chapman tried to sneak underneath. And they end up wrecking into turn, turn one. Both trucks on the wall quickly recovers. So Kenny Johnson in the 22, or it was 22nd in the 44. Looks like he was trying to make a pass and all those knees trucks all together again. Well, three out of the four. Yeah, you can see Johnson, he just kind of slides a little bit, does a tiny drift. And then there's Chapman in the 15, making a three on the bottom. And they pretty much get squeezed. Johnson gets squeezed. But he's able to get away from that mess. So our second yellow of the day. I'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready for the green as they all bump into each other. No major contact though. Got a handful of trucks a lap down as we saw a few of them coming out pit road to make some repairs. So they were trying to beat the uh, truck but didn't work out. That's Holiday is the only one that's multiple laps down. They're still jamming up. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like about Martinsville. As we're back on our way. Cody Smart on the inside. Blazy Vitar with a good launch, but not good enough. He'll be boxed on the top. I usually try to avoid this track, but we kind of have to race on it. And now Blaze is clear. I able to clear him, actually, in a 38. That's a pass for position. That would be for 25th there. So Hodak gets 25th as he's clear. The 15 truck also lap down. That is for 26th place. The 42 is also there. There's four lap trucks in the way between of uh, first and second. The 88 of Ozken, he is now taking second place. A 1.3 second lead. What a restart for Blaze Ivatar. He was able to get that drive on the top lane, able to clear. He's got a lot of aggressive uh, lap trucks waiting to get their laps back. If they can get there, at least. They might need another restart. Another chance. There's Des Hall again in the 23 on pit road. The 88. He's gotten by one. Now he's right on the back bumper of the 45, or the 42. He gave him a little tap. Now he looks at the inside. 42's defending. Ozken not happy about this. I mean, the 42 is racing for position here, so... He can't really put him at fault. Here comes Brad Cheston in the 6. 23 again, back. And now quickly goes back to pit road. Yeah, it gets tricky here in Martinsville, as we know how tightly packed they are. A 1.7 second lead. Yeah, they're going to need another yellow. Yeah, there goes Cheston. He's got a nose underneath. Now he's door-to-door -door with the 88. There's Tim Randolph in fourth. Fifth place is Alexander Rowe. Who is... Nope, actually it's the one. Stephen Oaks, he just made that pass. Rope drops to 6th place. There's Tony Green in the 7. I don't think we ever had a driver finish in a top 10 5 races in a row in the first 5 races of any series. Maybe. Maybe the smaller ones, but at least in a national, in a national division? In the big leagues? I don't think so. As here comes the 98 looking to make a pass for 7th place. They're actually closing in, despite there's still two trucks in the way. One and a half second that time, now it's back to 1.6. Well, now they're all single file, so that helps. Other than a caution, 
Driver's behind her, just hoping that 38 can catch up to the 16. You can get door to door. Justin started second in this race, and now he's in second. Be on the outside line, usually not preferable. Especially here at Morrinsville Speedway. Brad Chesson, so far, his start to the season hasn't been that great. Only one top 10 to his name. 21st in the point standings. We've seen how win with the points overhaul. Forgot where I made or came up with this point system. How big of a jump you get just by winning a single race, and that's how it should be. 1.8 now, almost two seconds back. Blazy Batar just on cruise control right now. At 38 with the damage. Don't think he's going to be able to catch him. Unless Blazy Batar makes a mistake. Or takes it too easy. Yeah, it's mostly single file here. 20 laps to go left here at Martinsville Speedway. Long green flag run. See, we get a third caution soon. Or later. How many laps down is this holiday now? Nine. Yeah, it just keeps coming in and out, as you know. Yeah, I think Blaze is just going to cruise on to the victory easily. Thanks to these uh, lap trucks being in the way. Yeah, these guys need a yellow flag. They need a caution. But it's got to happen with more than 10 to go on the restart. Or else they're just going to be held back. Either way. Unless the 38 or the 42 gets the jump on the leader. Looks pretty unlikely right now. Get a caution now, and oh, there it is, actually. Wow, the second I said that. All right, we're under yellow. Wish has been granted. Let's take a look at the replay. So again, Kenny Johnson involved another one, and the 17 of Cole Sampson. Another one on the front straight away. This time it wasn't too wild, but Sampson gets to that quarter panel of Kenny Johnson, turns him around, and again, Johnson gets turned. Pretty big hit for Martinsville standards, and and those two get pretty big hits too at the outside wall. The 52 of Anderson just squeezing by. So Sampson and the 17 just dumps Kenny Johnson. Short track tempers right there. And Johnson getting dumped. Again, that 44 goes around. I don't know what's going on with Johnson. But a wreck on the front straight away, carrying it over to turn one. Three trucks involved. Everyone driving away. We'll take you back to the restart. I believe the lights will come off right here. And yep. All right, so 11 to go and he take the green flag. If only that caution came out a lap later. So Blazy Vitar in a pretty bad spot. He has to get a good restart like last time, if he can. Got five trucks now as the 17 goes a lap down after making repairs. Pace truck is in, here we go. Would turn into an exciting, or much more exciting, battle for the finish, for the race win. With these trucks in the way. Here we go. Green flag, oh, here he goes. Great restart again. Way better than last time. He doesn't get to the inside quick enough. But he might get that run. And he does. No, wait, he doesn't. 38 still there on the inside. And he gets by. Unlaps himself. 10 laps to go. Still got the 42. Oh, big. Cody Smart. Three others. More trucks involved. As a wreck in the turn one, caution flag waves again. The 42, Cropley, can he get that lap back? Ah, uh, no he can't. 
Couldn't do it. They have to restart behind the 16 of Blaze Ebitar, which is great for him, as we will take a look at the replay. All right, let's see. So two of the lap trucks, Chapman and Smart. There are three wide, and Brad Cheston, he's on the outside. Nothing he can do. And Smart, he just doors the 15 a little bit, and then Chapman retaliates, pushes him all the way down to the inside wall. He tries to lay off, but then Smart hits the wall, hits us right at the edge of the safer barrier, bounces, and causes a yellow. That causes a small jam up, but don't think anyone's stacked up maybe to 25 of bear I saw my pit road I think he's actually stuck on top of the grass yeah he just stops mechanical failure nope he just stops a few others kind of get in it as well but nothing super major just very 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 spike uh spite slight contact but yeah uh you hate it you hate it as a lap driver you know especially when the two drivers beside you well, yeah, they're still fighting for position, but they choose to do it right beside you and wreck and wipe you out just like that into the wall he goes. Quickly recovered, but he still lost a couple spots. Or maybe just the one spot, but still still lost that one extra spot. So anyways, I believe that's our fourth yellow of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. Four laps to go here. Brad Cheston there is back in second, actually. Where's the 88? 88. Sam and Ozcan, he was on a late lap. He's back here in 17th. Unscheduled pit stop, possibly. All right, here we go. Four to go when to take the green flag. Can Blazy with Dart hang on? So he's got two backups right there, right behind him. So even if he didn't uh, beat the 42 as we're back on our way, he would have still had the 17. And Cheston quickly gets the jump on him. Cheston pushing super hard here. And I think the 17 is actually slow too, so very quick pass. Now what does Cropley do? Although he does lose a little ground off of four. He was on him. He wants to finish on the lead lap, even though it won't be a big deal. Probably will still finish the same, but yeah. Now Blaze is pulling away. Cheston now trying to get by the 42. I think Cropley's just going to let him go. But with two laps here at Martinsville, it's going to be tough. Yeah, Cheston's on a... Just pushing as hard as he can. I don't think he's going to do it. From a spectator view, you could see the gap much better, much clearer. As here they come to the white flag, unless we get a yellow. No, we will not. So no overtime today here at Martinsville Speedway. A seven-tenths of a second lead, Blazy Buttar has. He led almost all the laps. Be our fifth different winner today, or this season. Coming off turn four, checkered flag is out. And Blazy Buttar will win here at Martinsville. He did lead on laps. Or no. Home ball. Right. No, well, he almost did. I think. Alright, so let's take a look at the full race results. So Blazy Batar put on a clinic here at Martinsville Speedway. He did have help with those lap trucks in the way, but still he got he nailed the restarts. Got away with it. Got away as quickly as he could. Clear them. Drove away, and no one was able to challenge Blazy Buttar today. Brad Cheston started second, finished second. His first top five of the season. Riley Sampson getting third. David Davis in fourth. Alexander Rowe fifth. Wyatt Qual sixth. Stephen Oaks, our pole sitter, seventh. Tim Randolph eighth. Kevin Nix ninth. We're well, getting his first top ten of the season. And Nathan Norman tenth. And our points leader, Tony Green, could not keep that top ten streak going. He finishes thirteenth. While running in the top 10 for almost the entire race. As we take a look at the rest, rest of the race results. 19 trucks finished the race. Here is the rest of the race results there. Des Holiday 14 laps down. No retirees here at Martinsville Speedway. Not a single one. No mechanical failures. No major wrecks. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of crazy. It's, uh, it is and it isn't in a way. But anyways. And uh, Mitchell Hodak. 
great recovery. Getting that lap back, was able to get a couple of spots there at the end, finishing 12th. So not bad for the 38 team today, with that being a lap down earlier. All right, so that is it here in Martinsville Speedway. Blazy Batar, the race winner. Let's take you to victory lane. <laughs> 